السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله يبارك فيك وعليكم السلام How are you, Bija? How been to school today? Yes. Okay, mashallah. How's your day going? How's your day going? Good. Okay, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. So, alhamdulillah, until now we have discussed about triangles and as well as the quadrilaterals, right? Uh, were there any doubt in the previous two chapters, Bija? No. Had you gone through the uh, both of the chapters? Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah. So today we are going to sing. Um, if you can go a little slow. Okay, you want me to go a little slow? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, you want uh, you want me to complete the portions in a late way, right? You don't What? want me to complete the syllabus soon. Yes. Uh, no, my exam is starting for twenty sixth November, so we have time. Okay, you have time. Okay, no problem. Okay, alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, so do you want me to summarize the previous chapters? No, we can start with the new. We will start with the new chapter, inshallah. We'll start with statistics today and we'll go slow, okay? As mm -hmm. actually, I was trying to complete the entire mathematics in two, two months or so. I was trying to do that. But if you want me to go slow, inshallah, I thought we'll be able to go slow, okay? No problem. Okay, I'll rectify your intentions, anything and everything, for the sake of Allah, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Anything and everything, start with the name of Allah, right? The most merciful and the most beneficent Lord. Uh, come on, please recite the du'as for seeking knowledge. Aisha? <laughs> اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأن تتجل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا Allah there is nothing easy which except that which you have made easy if you wish you can make this difficult yes to task as the easiest but subhanallah what a beautiful dua this is right alhamdulillah are you ready with your textbook Arab book and a pen Peter? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Oh, keep ready your text. Oh, keep open your textbook. Open the chapter of the statistics, please. Then? Yeah. Okay, is it the 11th chapter in your textbook or the 14th chapter in your textbook? Uh, just a moment. It's actually the festival season here, and there are lots of cracker outside. I'm sorry for the disturbance caused. Okay. Okay, Peter. Uh, can you hear me out? Yes. Um, okay, alhamdulillah. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, uh, is it just chapter 11 or 14 in your textbook? It's chapter 12. Is it 12? Yes. Okay, mashallah. So, Alaiba, what is statistics? What does statistics mean? Do you know what is statistics? It's my kushtu stats. You know what is a stat? Uh, stats? When, when do you use the statistics, Peter? Um... Any idea what does this statistics mean? Mm -hmm. You know, this statistics comes into picture when you have lots of data. When you have lots of data, you will you will have to deal with this branch called statistics. Okay. For example, statistics while while playing cricket and all you you see it or oh, uh, some every uh, time in the uh, television, right? That the statistics says that it is probable that it might rain. It might uh, rain. Well, how do how do they decide that it might rain? They collect the data data of five to ten days before and five to ten days after. They'll just detect it from the statistics. Okay, statistics is nothing but. It is a branch, it is a branch of mathematics which deals with collecting and analyzing the data. Okay, it deals with collecting the data and analyzing the data. Okay. Yes. Okay. The data analysis and data collection is under the branch called statistics. Okay. Today, what we are going to study in the statistics is the first thing that we are going to study is data representation. Okay. 
the representation of data. The, uh, the, the main topic that you have in the statistics is graphical representation of data. How you can represent the data that is in heavy amount, high amount of data, you can just represent in a simple, simple graphs. If you represent it in the simple graphs, it is easily understandable, okay? If you have lots of data of 10 to 20 pages beta, LIBOR, Yes. Then, if you just uh, just uh, just uh, represent it in, in the form of the graphs, then it will be very easy for you to understand it and study the graphs instead of the whole data. Okay, so graphical representation comes into picture. Okay, why does graphical representation help you? How does graphic graphical representation help you? Large amount of data. It just clumps all the large amount of data into sim simple and simple and just a single graph, okay? All the large amount of data is just clubbed up into a single graph, okay? That is a graphical representation of data, which is nothing but it is a branch of statistics. Okay, come on, read this for me, Vita. Well, you like, the uh, the individual items are best shown by means of graphs. Yes, right? <laughs> Comparing the data is shown uh, usually by the graph. For example, if you have... 10 students in the class. If they, are, they have scored around, if you have 10 students in the class and uh, all, all of the 10 students have scored the various marks, how will you represent it in the form of a data? You know, data, how data is collected. For example, 90 to 100 marks are scored by two students. 80 to 70 marks are scored by three students. 70 to 60 marks are scored by five students. And less than 50 marks are scored by four students. This is nothing but the data that they have given. For this, how can we devise a graph? We just have to write a graph. How will we draw a graph? There's nothing but this. Uh, one thing will, uh, will, will show an x-axis. Another, the numbers we will show on y-axis. This is the x-axis, right? This is the y-axis. We will just show this data on the graph. That's all, right? This data on the graph will be very easy to study, OK? The graphical representation of the data will be very easy to study in, uh, instead of this data itself, okay? This large amount of data is easily studyable when it is represented in the graphical format. Okay, Laiba? Yeah. Yes. So what is the use of graphical representation of data? So that it, be it becomes easier to understand the data, correct? The large amount of data that is given, you can easily represent it in the form of a graph and it is easily understandable when it is in the graphical format. Right, Laiba? Yes. Okay, so we will study in this session, in this ninth, uh, ninth standard syllabus, in the grade nine syllabus, you will be studying the graphical representation of data in the three format. One is the bar graphs, right? Another mm -hmm. is a, what's the second thing, Bita? It is a histogram. And the third thing is, frequency polygon. We'll see that later, okay? We'll just start off with the first thing, what it is called is, what is it called? <coughs> and the first graphical representation of data is bar graphs, okay? We'll start with the bar graphs. And what is the second thing? Histograms. It is nothing but, it is of uniform width of varying widths. And we'll see of uniform widths as well as varying widths as well, okay? And then the frequency polygons. Today, we'll, uh, we'll go s uh, slowly, inshallah. So we'll just study bar graphs today, okay, in detail. All of the topics in the bar graphs we'll cover, inshallah. We'll cover the exercise problems for the bar graphs as well as the example problems for the bar graphs, okay? Are you following me? Yes. Okay, alhamdulillah. So we, we are starting with the bar graph. What is a bar graph? If they ask you the definition, it is nothing but a pictorial representation of the data. It is nothing but representation of data, right? Yeah. What did I tell you? If they give you large amount of data, we are just going to represent it in the form of the graph, right? We are representing it in the form of the graph in the form of bars. Bars is nothing but rectangular bars. Bars ka matlab kya hai? What does bars mean? It's just, it's just the columns, right? It is nothing but columns or the rows. It can also represent in this way, but, but largely followed is nothing but the column format, okay? Not the row format. What do we follow in large? Vita, what do we follow in large? What did I say you? In the columns format. Bars are written in the column format, okay? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, so read it for me. Read this entire thing for me, Vita. Bar graph is? Bar graph is a pictorial, pictorial representation. representation, graphical representation of data in 
and which usually bars of uniform uniform width or oh, this bar should be of uniform width okay this bar should be of uniform width uniform width ka matlab kya hai what is uniform mean same width all of this should be 1 1 1 1 okay matlab it should be just the one unit in the graph okay in the graph page if you refer to it then you have to just write one unit in it i'll explain to you later okay now just understand this definition uniform width then what what do they say they are drawn with with equal spacing between. equal spacing between them yes with equal spacing between them on x axis, axis. okay uh, which is the equal spacing this this spacing this spacing here can you see me here can you just see the mark here this is the equal spacing right here 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 the equal the spacing should be equal and also the width should be equal this width with in the graph in the bars and this uh, and the width between the graphs should be equal okay there should be equal spacing in x axis this is x axis right which is x axis liba which is x axis the one that is drawn in horizontal right mm -hmm. which is the y axis liba Uh, one that is drawn in vertical this is y axis right this is x axis and this is y axis what do we write here at the center here between in the intersection between x and y axis it is a zero right it depicts nothing okay so what did we discuss just now what did we study now liba that a bar graph contains an x axis yes which has bars which are of the uniform 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 width beta this bars are of uniform width this is uniform width and the space between the bars is also of also of uniform length right the space between these bars is also same and next this we have we are just discussed about x axis now we'll discuss about y axis the values of the variables are shown on the other axis so what will be shown on the y axis beta we will show the values of the variables for example in the previous example i just gave you the students who scored 10 100 out of 100 100 to 90 the students who scored 80 to 90 80 to 90 the students who scored 70 to 80 right how will you represent we'll represent it all in the y axis right liba yes yes so the height of the graphs this graphs is nothing but what does this represent how many students right how many students have scored this and that right okay alhamdulillah and the heights of the bars depends on the values of the variable it depends on what value is it showing inferring okay alhamdulillah so we have an example here liba come on please read this for me if they give you a data in this format is it easy or if they give you in this this is graphic graphical format is it easy easily understandable this one is easy right this is easy to understand if they had given this instead of this in uh, in this in the format of the columns and rows and they have written all of this data then it would be difficult for you to understand right so the graphical representation of data is very important to make it easier for us to analyze the data Okay, so now we are analyzing the data that is given in this graph. So come on, read this question, Liba. In a particular section of class nine, forty students were asked about the months of their birth, and the following graph was prepared with the data so obtained. Yes. Observe the bar graph given above and answer the following questions: How many students were born in the month of November? Yes. Oh, so, wait. How many students have been born in the month of number? What is your this graph showing? What is this graph showing for? Right. Where is the line? With how how will you understand this, beta? How is it for? Come on, show it. Track it on the track it on the graph. Track it on the graph that's shown here. How to track this? You have to draw a line between this and this. So the height till the y-axis is nothing but four, right? Yes. Yes. So Alhamdulillah, this four is the answer, right? Correct or wrong? Yes. Okay. The next next question. The next question, Mita. There's an, another question here. The maximum number of students born. And which oh, month yes. were the maximum number of the students born? Which is the maximum height here? It is August. August. How much? How much is it, Mita? How many? How many students are born in August? 
six. I'll give another question. In which month were the minimum students born? Uh, it's June. It's June. Excellent. In which month that most of the students were born in which month? It's again? August. Okay, the, another question. How many months in which same number of students were born? Same number of students. Um, October, November, and December. Yes, excellent. October, November, December is the three months in which the same students were born, a same number of students were born. And what about another, another track in which same number of students were born? This goes to four, right? There is another another set of set of months in which same number of students were born. Yes. Which one? Um, February. This one better. March, April, July. Same number of students were born. Two students, and there are still still two more months in which the same same number of students were born. Same number of students. Three students were born in January as well as September, right? September. Okay, excellent. So in this way, you have to uh, you have to study the graph, right? Is it easy to analyze this graph? Yes. Yes, right. If if they had given you the it, uh, this in the form of the data, how would they have given you better? How would they have given you in the form of the table? Please tell me. On the first thing, what would they have written? It they have written the month, right? Months of birth and then what would they have written here number of number of uh, like well, what they have to write in the uh, yes they have to write this and this on the that data headings right okay and the first two columns you have, have to write first row they have to write this and next rows what they have to write in the in, in the in the area of the month january february Correct? March till December, they, they would have written, right? And then what would they have uh, written here in place of January? Three students, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, now tell me what about February? What about February? Uh, four. March. Two. March, two, yes. April. Two. Yes. Next beta. Go quickly tell me. Five. Tell me all of it. Five. Yes. One. One. Two. Yes. Six. Yes. Six. Seven. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Four. All four. Okay. In this way, you would have to study 12 numbers of data, right? 12 rows of data you would have studied if it was just given as a data, right? So instead of data, this graph was written, right? To analyze the, uh, it in the form of a graphical format is very easy, okay? To analyze in the form of graphical format or graphical representation, it becomes easier, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have data given. Now we need to plot a graph, okay? Uh, can you open your textbook for me? Is it open? Uh, do you have this example problem in textbook? Just check it. Yes. Just check whether you have this example problem in your textbook. Yes or no, Laiba? One minute. A family with a monthly income of rupees 20,000 had planned. Is it in your textbook? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just just read this read this question better. Family with a monthly income of 20,000 had planned following expenditures per month under <laughs> Hits. Okay. For the data hmm. What is given here? For the great grocery, it's just given four. What does four mean here? It is in? It is in? Thousand rupees, correct? Yes. Instead of that, they have given just the four. So it, you, should, you should write it as 4,000, correct? You should understand it as 4,000. What is this now? 5,000. Towards the rent, they are giving 5,000. To the, towards the education of children, they are giving 5,000. Towards the medicine, they are giving 2,000. Correct, Laiba? 
towards the fuel they are paying 2000 and towards the entertainment they are paying 1000 towards miscellaneous things they are paying, paying 1000 correct this is the data that they have given that just gave it in the simplified format uh, they have written here as in thousand rupees correct Liber? in thousand rupees so you should understand it in this way correct so what is the total Liber? what did they tell you what is the total total expenditure what is the total expenditure Is it twenty thousand? Yes. Is it twenty thousand? It is given, right? The total expenditure is twenty thousand. If you if you sum up all of this, then the the, the data, the total of the data is twenty thousand. Okay. Uh, is is this is this table in your textbook? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Now I will show you a graph. You have to you have to track all of the data on the graph. Okay. You should not turn the next page. You should not turn the next page. You just have to see the this table in your textbook okay okay we have a graph here how will we start to represent the data how should we start to represent the data better first what you have to do is liber i'll just teach you first and the second thing is you have to do after me okay the first thing i'll teach you the next graph you're going to draw it for me okay Chalo, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. first what we have to do is First, you're going to decide a unit, okay? You're going to decide a unit. What does unit mean, Laiba? Unit is nothing but, over there, what was given? They had given 4,000. They had given you 5,000, 5,000, and so on. So instead of 4,000, 5,000, because we cannot plot 4,000, 5,000 on the graph, what we did was, we just tracked it as a unit. What the unit here is, one unit is equal to, thousand rupees is it fine that we will put in this way instead of thousand what we have to write one correct instead of correct bitter yeah yes instead of thousand this is a unit first you have to decide okay what unit uh, if it was not given in the table you should have written this okay actually uh, most of the time they won't give it in the table four five two and all Instead of that, you, they would give 4,000, 5,000, 5,000, 2,000 and all, okay? The expenditure, right, Vita? So first thing, decide the unit. The second thing, <laughs> the second thing, what will you do is draw an x-axis and a y-axis. Come on, let's draw an x-axis and a y-axis, Liba. Okay, I'll draw x-axis starting from this point to this point. Is it x-axis? Where does x-axis stand, Liba? It stands on? It stands horizontally, right? It is in this way. The correct or wrong? Correct. Yes. Okay. Where does the y-axis stand, Vita? Does it stand horizontally or vertically? Vertically, right? So we can we can construct it here. So this is your y-axis, is it? Okay, chalo. Alhamdulillah. This is your y-axis. Okay. For now, you have to decide now which 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 thing you will write on x-axis and which thing you will write on y-axis. Uh, can you please tell me which which thing you will write on the x-axis and which thing you will write on the y-axis? Liba. Um, Wait up. You do not know. Okay, you have table, right? The heads part. The heads part has grocery, rent, like, education, uh, yes, education, children, sorry. medicine, and all. But the uh, the next part has the units, right? <laughs> Do you remember units? Units should be shown on this side, on the y-axis. Do you remember this? Units should be shown on the y-axis so that you can mark the horizontal part in this way. So that you can show it in heights, right? Right? Yes. The units. The units part. What do you Matlab numbers jo bhi diya gaya hai, four, five, six, that should be shown on the y-axis because we have to show the heights of the bar graphs, right? If you show it here, you cannot you cannot show it in this way. Correct? You do not have to show it in a horizontal pattern. You are going to show it in a vertical pattern, right? So, so what we're going to do, Laiba, is nothing but decide which is going to go on x-axis and which is going to go on y-axis. Now, write x-axis. Where does x-axis exist now? On this side, right? So on x-axis, what what does go on? What variable goes on the x-axis, Vida? The heads part, right? The first part of the data. What is the first part of the data? Heads. And what is the 
sorry, H should go on the x-axis. Which should be on the x-axis, y-axis? What did I tell you? The number part should be on the x-axis, right? The y-axis, right? Yes. So in which does the number part shows up? In expenditure. Expenditure may have numbers the correct? Thousand, four thousand, five thousand. Correct? So it should be on y-axis. Done? Then we write x-axis here. X-axis pay no numbers. No number part is nothing but which is on the x-axis now. The heads are on the x-axis. Done? You have to represent it in this way, Laiba. Done? Understood till here? Yes. Yes. Fine. Now, next part. What is the next part? How many numbers are given on the y-axis? Please tell me how many numbers are given. One, two, five, four, right? Laiba, I want your answer, please. How many numbers are given on the y-axis? A y-axis is nothing but expenditure. Expenditure me kitne numbers diye gaye hain wahan pe? Table me. I'm asking you to check the table on your textbook. Because I cannot turn the previous page, I'm telling you to just see the table in your textbook. Okay, how many numbers are given, Bita? Five numbers are given. So, we can write on the y-axis. The first thing is one here, correct? Next is, what to write here? Two. What to write here? Three. What to write here? Four. And what to write here? Five. Five is enough, right? Yes. We can write more as well, but we do not have more numbers. We just can write till here, one to five. Okay, that's enough. Next, what we are going to do, what did we tell you? You have to leave a unit gap every time, okay? Between each bar, you have to leave a unit gap. This is a unit, right? Where is a unit here? Ek box ko ek unit bulate hain. This box is one unit. Okay, Laiba? Each box is one unit. So, just leave one unit gap to draw a graph, to, to draw a bar graph, okay? Okay, you're leaving one unit gap. And then, now you have to write this one, this part, beta. Can you see? Can you see me marking? This part, this one unit you're using for the first part. What is the first part given in the heads? What is the first part given in the heads? Table, refer the table, please. Heads me unhune pehla cheese kya diya gaya hai? Yes, it is a grocery. The next part, you have to leave one space here and then mark for the next. Now, first, let's mark for the grocery. What you have to do here, Bita? Grocery kaan tak hai? Four tak hai, yes. So, yaan pe four pe ek line dal do. And then draw a bar in this way. Understood? This is a bar. Understood, Laiba? Then you can color it down if you want. You can do whatever. You can just shade it, uh, shade it out or whatever. It's easy for you. You can do it. Uh, usually, you can color it gray with your pencil in your worksheet, worksheets or in the graph sheets, whenever you write, write it. Okay? This is the part. Right, Laiba? Now, can you construct the other parts, Vita? Please construct what? the other parts. Please construct the other bars. Um, education of children. Is fine. Yes. Excellent. How will you do? Uh, no. Before the education, there is a rent, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, please mark. The, yes. Please mark the rent part. I did not mark it. I did not level it up. Please mark it. It is easy to mark in, on the Zoom. Just take a shape, take lines and just mark it. Are you doing it? Yes. On screen? Yes. One. Yes, mashallah. Excellent, excellent. The next. What we have to write in x-axis? You, you just forgot to write in the x-axis, Bita. You have to grocery likai, x-axis pick, or she's like me chayeti apko. Okay, after um, drawing um, the graph. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you just uh, you just press on the same line which you have taken, same square rectangle that you've taken, and uh, write the uh, take the pencil from there. Then click on the same the uh, same option. Click on the rectangle option that you've taken from the bar mentioned at the side in the zoom. Taken. 
Hmm. You're not able to write? Okay, just tell me. Oh, just construct the rectangles, no problem. I'm not able to find the rectangle. Okay, uh, at least the lines that you had uh, drawn right now. Okay. This is five. After grocery. Okay, tell me I'll I'll draw it for you. Next what have to what, what I have to draw it up. Yes, excellent. Yes, this is the third thing. Okay, the next five. <laughs> next, what about medicine data? How much did they spend on medicines? Two thousand. Excellent. How much did they spend on fuel? 2,000. How much did they spend on entertainment? 1,000. How much did they spend on miscellaneous? Okay, you just, you just, you should not, never, never draw it beside, outside of it, okay? You just have to leave one space, okay, every time. This is very important, Liba, because it is not a continuous graph, okay? If you will not leave a space, Liba, then it will be called as histogram, okay? There is a difference between histogram and bar graph. Like, you have to note this, okay? Every mm -hmm. time, you have to leave a uniform space between the bar. If you won't leave the uniform space, then it will be a histogram. Then this will be totally wrong diagram, okay? And the question, if they have given you bar graph and if you have drawn it uh, together, then it is a totally wrong diagram. The to uh, This should never, never, never you have to club it up, okay? Histograms are different from biographs. That's all. You have to remember this point every time while you're drawing biographs. One unit space between the bars is mandatory. Okay, Liber, you just have to write the, uh, your, you just uh, forgot to write the uh, things on the x-axis. Please write the things on the x-axis. Please write the data on the x-axis. Okay. Uh, please write it on the x-axis, Peter. Uh, can you write it down? Just tell me if if if, if it's if there's any problem at the end. I'll write it. Just have to tell me what is the what is the data that I have to write. Education. After edu uh, grocery, I have to write education in the x-axis, right? Right. We have to write education. After education, sorry, but it should be rent, right? It should be rent. After that, it is education. After that, what you have to write, Bitta? Medicine. Medicine. Medicine, how much is expenditure? How much is the expenditure? How can you understand now? You just have to see x axis, y axis, right? It is 2000, 2000 rupees. Excellent. Then what is the next expenditure? On 2000. Fuel, 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 and uh, 2000. Then what is the next expenditure? Entertainment. Entertainment. What is the next expenditure? Oh, Miscellaneous. It is 1000 again. It is 1000 again. So is it easy? Yeah. Okay, I have really left. Uh, so this was the expenditure on the graph. Okay, mashallah. Uh, and one more thing, Bita, you just have to write the units here, okay? You have to write a scale. You have to write a scale, okay? You have to write a scale and write every time in the graph, you are, you are going to write this x-axis. On x-axis, what are we showing on x-axis? On x-axis, we are showing heads, right? And on y-axis, what are we showing, Bita? We are showing expenditure expenditure you have to write this every time whenever you draw a graph and then on y-axis what is the unit you have to write the units as well you can write anything what is the unit on the x uh, y-axis one unit is equal to how many rupees how many rupees or something whatever it's mentioned there what is the expenditure mentioned there one thousand rupees if it is rupees then it is rupees one thousand you have to write it in this way then is it easy any doubts in this any doubts, Peter? Yes. Any doubts? No. No. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Can we go for the next question? We have time, actually. 7.45, uh, just five minutes left out. Uh, I'll just quickly read out the next question. You are going to show, me it, uh, show it to me in the graph. Okay? You have to draw it to me as a graph. Will you do it for me? Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Shalom. Uh, just a minute. 
Okay, uh, uh, just check whether you have this problem in your textbook, please. Soon. Just check whether you have this problem in your textbook. Lava, I cannot hear you. This is an exercise problem, Mita. Oh, okay. It's not an example problem, it's an exercise problem. It's just one exercise, one example problem is given in your textbook. I'm just taking out all the bar, bar, bar graph problems from your textbook and then we are clubbing it up and studying. And tomorrow, inshallah, we'll study this histogram problems, okay? okay? Now, please check whether it is an exercise problem. Yes, this is the question. Yes. It is. It is. It is in your textbook. Yes. Okay, mashallah. Uh, so uh, you don't want to uh, read it here, right? You just read it in the textbook. We will solve it on the on the graph. Okay. Okay. Okay, chalo. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, what is the question? Uh, can you please read it for me? A survey conducted by an organization for the cause of illness and death among the women between the ages fifteen to forty-four worldwide mm -hmm. found the following figures. In one yes. important day. Yes. So, what is the They have shown their female fatality rate. Fatality ka kya hota hai? Ka rate. Death rates, okay? Death rates of the females they have given. Uh, for which which disease, okay? Which disease causes more deaths in the female, okay? Which disease causes the percentage of the deaths in the female? Now, quickly tell me what will you write in the x axis? Will you do this on the screen or should I do it on the screen? Uh, mm -hmm. Is your pen working? Is your pen or the mouse drive working? Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, it's, it's not working? No, no, it's working. Okay, please, please do it on the screen. I'll take a line and just draw the x and y axis first. Just draw the x and y axis at first. And tell me which will you indicate on x axis and which will you indicate on y axis. Uh. Excellent. Which is an x axis here, Bitter? It is an x axis is a horizontal line, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a y axis here, Bitter? It is a vertical line. Excellent. So uh, please select what is to be written on the x-axis and y-axis soon. What is to be written on x-axis? Uh, hmm. to write the... Okay, what is to be written on the x-axis? Just check the table the and tell causes me. In the x -axis. Yes, causes on the x-axis. Excellent. Causes on the x-axis. Please write it down. You can write. I'll, I'll write it for you. Okay. Okay. The writing part I'll take. You just tell me what you have to write. Okay. X-axis. This is x-axis, right? You have to write the causes on the x-axis. Then y-axis. What do you have to write on the y-axis? What is to be written better? Um. Female? Fatality rate, right? Female fatality rate. Yeah. Yes, fatality rate. What does fatality mean? It is a death rate, right? It is in the form of the percentage. Now, in in the format, in the percentage format, uh, uh, from uh, just check the data beta from where they have started. Where is the start? Which is the least number in that? Which is the least percentage in that? Four is the least percentage. Which is the highest percentage? Thirty-one point eight. 31.8. So, if you take 2, 3, 4, 5, you cannot go to 38 in this graph, right? Yeah. So, you just have to, what you can do is, you can take 5 as a minimum point, okay? Yeah. 0, you can take, what unit you will take? 1 unit is equal to 5 percentage, okay? This is the scale now. On y-axis, this should be written every, every time, okay? Liba, you have to write this every time. Scale 
comma on y axis one unit unit ka matlab pata hai what i told you this is called as a unit right so this unit one unit is equal to 5% let's take it as a 5% Uh, today why are we taking as a 5% because we want to go to 30 35 right so we are taking 5 as a small unit then what is the next unit we can take 5 plus 5 what is the next point 10 then live what to write um please tell what to write next next 25 yes next 30 next 35 is it fine now yes we have till 35 so we want it till 35 right so we have 0 to 35 on y axis the graphs will be shorter right you cannot go uh, from 0 to 30 on the same y axis right so we will just make some changes we will just scale it down on y axis what we are doing for per unit what we are doing is 5% we are writing right that's all next on x axis what is the scale beta um, what what will you write it first now we have to show the graphs and write it down come on soon now we are going to the actual we are drawing the actual bar graph let's start with the first thing where is the first thing with a female fertility rate first thing reproductive health conditions how much is the reproductive health conditions how much is the percentage percentage of fertility Yes. 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 Thirty one point eight. Where will you mark it down, Peter? The first digit after thirty, right? Please mark it on the screen. Any disturbance behind? Yes. Excellent. So it is thirty one point eight. Almost thirty two. You can show. Okay. Almost thirty two. You can show. Okay, so what you have to write here down, uh, down bitter. You must write it. You must never forget to write this. What you have to write here is reproductive health conditions. Yes, reproductive health conditions. You have to write this. R. Let's just short form it. R H C. Okay. The next. Where will you write the next bar graph? Twenty five point four. Yes, please, please. Now, please, or uh, write it down for all of it. Make it soon. Make it sooner. We are almost time for the class. Okay. The next part, please. What is this, Vita? Which is this we have shown now? Please tell and show. What is what is that you are showing now? respiratory conditions okay due to respiratory conditions how many percentage how much percentage is the fertility rate death rate of the females 4.1 due to other causes how much is the death rate it is 22.0 okay alhamdulillah okay now tell me that they have given the question after this Which condition is a major cause of women's ill health and death in worldwide? Which is which condition is a major cause here, Bitta? Reproductive health conditions. Yes, due to the reproductive health conditions, there is highest rate of death in the females. Okay. And the next question. Okay, there it is. The it is just a medical question. It's a fun fact, I guess. It's just a, uh, uh, just for your your curiosity. Try to find out with the help of your teacher any two factors which play a major role in the cause. any two factors that help th that causes the death in reproductive conditions in the female what will we say what will we say what 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 what, what can be these causes beta while while the reproductive health due to the reproductive health many of the women die what might be the cause because the treatments are not available or the uh, treatments they don't know what to treat they don't know how to treat where to go to treat those uh, uh, the uh, conditions related to the reproductive system right you can write any of this in your answer but you have to write this in your answers okay okay 
Okay, this is just the general question, the second question there. Okay. Done? Understood this bar graph? Yeah. Understood? Yeah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, is the class boring? Am I going am I boring you? No. No, Alhamdulillah. Is it interesting? Yes. Yeah. Okay, mashallah. So any any doubts in this problem? No. Okay, mashallah. So we have another question here. You're just going to solve this in your homework, as your homework, okay? Solve it in your graph sheet and just send me, send me the homework, or just send me the photos for that, okay? This is quite easy. Okay, you just tell me how to solve it. I'll tell you, uh, uh, I'll just give you hints and then we'll end the session, okay? Chalo, tell me how will you solve this? Oh, we'll write sections on the x-axis. Yes, this on the x-axis. Excellent. This is an x-axis. And what on the y-axis, Bita? Everything is of 900 here. You can also write it as 900 as well. You can take each one as 0, 100. If it is 0, then first is 100. You can take each unit as 100 units if you want. Okay? Or else you can also do it in this way. You can also do it as... 900 you can start it from 900 but you have to break the graph okay if you are going to start from 900 you have to break the graph in this way and then start so if this gets complicated don't start from 900 you can just start from 100 okay 100 200 300 400 to 900 okay you can do it in this way anything whichever gets easier for you you can go for it liba okay, okay. This is the number of girls per thousand boys. Uh, you just have to show, mark it on the graph. And then what is the scale you are going to write? You have to write a scale. Then you are going to write x-axis. X-axis may koi kuch bhi, kuch bhi changes nahi hai. On y-axis, what changes are we going to? One unit is equal to? How much, beta? How much are we taking? 100. Excellent. We are taking 100 here. One unit is equal to 100. That's all. That's all is enough. And then you have to just grab a uh, plot the bar graphs and then you have to answer the question conditions. Represent the information about by bar graph and then in classroom discuss the what the conclusions can be right from the graph. <coughs> this we'll discuss tomorrow, okay? After you'll write down your homework and send it to me, we'll, inshallah tomorrow in, in tomorrow's class we'll discuss the conditions that um, that conclusions that we'll draw from the graph, okay? Okay. This is your homework. You have to solve this and send it to me, okay? That's all. This problem three, inshallah, we'll discuss tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Jazakumullah khairan. Have a good day. Take care of yourself. Afiya manila. Okay. So just quickly, let's recap. What did we study today, Bita? Graphical representation of data. We studied biographs, two example problems, and two exercise problems, right? Yeah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So uh, that uh, there's a homework. You just have to send me, okay? It's very important. You have to send me the homework. Uh, okay. Jazakumullah khairan. Have a, have a good day. Take care of yourself. Fiya ma'ala. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Subhanakallah. Mubihamdulillah. Shabbat Allah. Ilaha illa. Anta astaghfirullah. Tawbi lika.